proud establishment to be a part of this. Um, I'm just amazed. I've been a member of the community for just a few months, and the compassion that the Northern Nevada people have is just astounding. I'm very humbled to be a part of it, to say the least. And you said your department alone has been responsible for a lot of donations too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, GSR, we're 2,000 people that um, at its core are just astounded by the generosity of giving back to the community. And our department actually uh, went up to the bank a few weeks ago and boxed up 600 holiday uh, cartons and boxes, which ended up being around 18,000 pounds of food for the community. And we were just so proud and grateful to do it. So it ended up being a wonderful experience. What does that tell you just about the people you work with and the people that live in our area? They're amazing. The compassion that my team alone has and everybody that I've worked with at GSR, um, they're just so selflessness, you know, that comes out and um, they're just amazing people. And we just love doing this stuff because the community is who makes GSR who they are. So it's really great a part to be a part of it, to say the least. <laughs> and what is it about this event that brings people out? I mean, you got the Christmas spirit, obviously, right. but it seems like people <laughs> Really, this time of the year, they really focus on this and they realize people are hungry and they oh, do yeah. need food. Absolutely. You know, I just think that, you know, people, um, there's loved ones that are lost and it just kind of, you know, it's a time of year that you reflect on what you have and showing how grateful you are to what you have. And then, you know, you reflect on yourself and want to give yourself to somebody else and help out the people that are not as fortunate as you. And that's what GSR is all about, giving to others. How much fun is it to be out here? It's great. It's a little bit cold, I will say, but it's been great. Yeah, Absolutely. you're keeping your toes, right? I am. They're a little frozen right now, but it's been wonderful. <laughs> All right, we'll let you go back inside Thank and warm so up a little much. bit. Obviously, the Grand Sierra Resort, we couldn't do it without you guys. Mike, we're going to go ahead and send things over to you. Hey, I've got a really exciting program here I want to talk about here. I'm with uh, Todd Burg or John Burgess, excuse me, with uh, Save Mart Grocery Stores. And you've been doing a program here, and this one's kind of unique. I'm going to let you turn this around and explain exactly what's going on. And this goes on all month, right? Correct. Okay, we're going to turn this around. You tell right. us what, what this means. So basically what we've got going at Save Mart is a program called Give, Share, Care. Uh -huh. And what it is is you come into the store, you tear off one of these pads for a $2, $3, or $5 donation. So you tear that um, off, you take it up to the to the uh, the checkout counter, and they'll just scan it, and you'll pay that, yep, right? Yep, that's simple. Okay. They're at the checkout counter. They'll scan it. Like I said, $2 buys a breakfast, $3 buys lunch, and $5 will get a dinner for a needy family. Okay, now that money then goes... To, to the, the food, food bank, bank of Northern, Northern Nevada. Okay, great. I just want to make sure everyone un <laughs> understood that. That that uh, and and actually, if if I'm not mistaken, Gretchen, I can actually buy a lot more than one dinner with five dollars, can't you? Indeed. Yeah, fifteen provides fifteen meals. Okay, so so this is buying like a party of dinners for for five dollars. It's really easy to tear it off. Now that's not all, as they say in the infomercials. Tell me what what's going on here today. If you want to go to shopping today. Well, like we said, it runs through January second, but today and today only. Save Mart will match every dollar donated through this program up to five thousand dollars. Up to five. So everything that that ha comes in today, up to five thousand dollars, Save Mart is going to match on that. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And please introduce Todd over there. I don't want you to feel like you're you're a potted plant over there, Todd. Tell me who Todd is. This is Todd Baldwin. He's our manager up at our uh, store on Mayan and McCarran. Todd, have you had much response to this program yet so far? We've really been pushing it hard today in all of our stores here. Um, it seems like the response has been really good. Okay, and we will know, I, I assume the totals obviously won't come out until after, after the day is uh, out here today. But, uh, yep. and, and again, the program goes through. Now, one other real quick thing. Uh, apparently we may have one more match of this program. Gretchen, tell me. So um, we had somebody who watched this morning and got really excited about this program and wanted to make sure that Save Mart was able to meet their match. And so we had um, Terrible's Casino from Fernley come forward and offer us $500 and he said i could bring it down to you or i could take it to save mart and double it so they were really excited to do that and um, very motivated by the fact that the food bank serves all of northern nevada okay so an extra extra match here from terrible's casino and fernley plus the save mart food uh, food stores all across the area yeah absolutely save mart will match that 500 dollars donation all right dollar for dollar so you have shopping open till midnight here tonight get down tear a few of these off Buy a bunch of meals for the needy people. It'll all go to the food bank of northern Nevada. Now, I think this is, I think we're going from here out to Carson, if I'm not mistaken. We'll send it down to you guys in Carson. 
Mike Alger, you are not mistaken, my friend. We are, of course, at the governor's mansion in Carson City. And I want to show and demonstrate a really cool thing, how they transport food from the top of the governor's mansion down here to where they actually take it away. So basically what they do, they have this big chain here. And I'm going to demonstrate. Let's pretend I'm some, like, hot Cheetos or something. Here we go. You go back. Ah! Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. I'm hot Cheetos. Don't crush the Cheetos. Don't crush the Cheetos. I can say Cheetos, right? 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 I'm going. I'm going. This is good. We made it. We made it, right? Okay. All right. So we made it over here. We made it over here, right? And then the Cheetos will make its way all the way over here to where it gets sorted. I'm with uh, Bradley Thompson. Bradley, explain this process for me. Um, all the food that's being collected is just being sorted into their categories throughout the food bank, and it's being weighed in the truck over there. And last I checked, we were at 3,000 pounds. Yeah, okay, so you're kind of overseeing this. Everybody doing a good job here? Yeah, everybody's doing great. All right, so tell me a little bit about your outfit. I just want to know a little bit about it. Um, every year for the past four years, I've just worn antlers like for the food drive and this is actually a piece of a pen that i was like oh this could be a rudolph nose there you go so a yeah. pen ladies and gentlemen a pen we're also joined by carson middle school with us today burgundy jeremiah jillian uh why are you guys out here we'll start with you burgundy i volunteer up at ron woods and i signed up because i was told that we were going to need help for it and you guys are doing an awesome job what about you jeremiah I'm from National Junior Honor Society at Carson Middle School, and I volunteered here along with my classmates. Absolutely. Now, Jillian, let me ask you this. Christmas, of course, is just right around the corner. What are you looking forward to most about Family Christmas? and food. Absolutely. Family and food. That's like the best part of Christmas. The best part of Christmas. And you know what another good thing about Christmas is? What? I don't know. Maybe a little jingle bells? On the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, let's do some jingle bells as we send it to break on Share Your Christmas on Channel 2 News. And a one and a two. And of course, the three. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha, bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Great over there, but welcome back to the Carson Valley Inn in Minden. I am here with Debbie Zoika and the Douglas High School cheer team, and they have prepared a very, very special cheer for us. I'm very much looking forward to it. So, ladies, take it away. Action, action, we take action. Hey! take action and bring some donated food down here which would be awesome they brought donations down here earlier of um, baby food right you brought baby right food? we decided as a group to um, donate baby items because sometimes you don't really hear about kids you know the parents with children so we all um, I worked at Walmart so my boss Eric Schumann was nice enough to donate and so we brought about four or five huge boxes of baby items all right thank you guys so much for coming down we so appreciate it we loved the cheer all righty I'm gonna send it over to Adam now with a very special Special guest. That's right, Ari. I have Sheriff Ron Perini of the Douglas County. How, how's your day been going? It's been going good. Good. Uh, good. good turnout today. It's been wonderful. Yeah. And just uh, how long have you been here for? Well, you know, as far as today, as far as today, today, yeah, we started early this morning at six, and we participated in it as much as we possibly can. And as you can see, is the numbers of people that have brought in food for a real need. It really is for Douglas County, as it is everywhere. It's been outstanding and it's keeping on coming. So we're excited with the numbers. And it's year after year. I mean, you've seen how it, this uh, food drive has evolved. I mean, just what's what's been the biggest uh, thing? Well, I think one of the things that we found is every year we try to make it better and we try to get more pounds of food. And we've done that every year. The amount of people that come in here is just, like I say, huge numbers and huge amount of trucks that come in with, with, with food. And Douglas County, um, even though a lot of people don't look at it, is that we have a lot of economic problems, but it is everywhere throughout the state of Nevada. And we have people that really are in need. And I have met people, and they talk about that we couldn't even survive without the food closet and the ability to get food for our kids and everything else. 
definitely a good cause. And so obviously we're standing right in front of some pretty hot wheels you got here. So just talk about uh, what it is and also it's representing great. Uh, just talk about what that all, that's all about. Well, one of the things that we do is we have a youth services group that does not only DARE but the GREAT program and that's dealing with gang resistance education and training. We bought this this gun, uh, this car actually for actually the kids to look at, to show that kind of uh, enthusiasm to stay away from violence and from drugs and all that. This was purchased through drug seizure money and uh, we arrest people and, and sometimes they lose their, their money and what have you. And so what we want to do is we want a great advertisement to show that we have no violence in Douglas County, no drugs, no gangs, that type of stuff. A real positive message to our kids. Sheriff Ron Freeney with Douglas County. Now let's real quickly send it over to Chloe Beardsley with a big, uh, nice donation. Chloe? That's right, Adam. I'm over here with the National Club Service Organization, Sir Toma, and I'm here with actually the president, Martha. Tell me a little bit about, you guys are presenting a pretty big check for today. How did you guys uh, come up with this money and what motivates you every year? Well, we help out in the community. We um, do a lot of service work. Sorry about that. Um, we, we give to kids the Boys and Girls Club and um, all sorts of organizations in our community. Um, we also do scholarships for the high school students and um, our, our members just give. They give a lot. Every meeting we have we put a little bit of money in um, just for this purpose and we also do a lot of fundraisers in the community. So. Perfect. And I've t you guys tell me you guys do this every year. How does it feel to be part of Share Your Christmas and be able to really give back to people who may be down on their luck or just the less fortunate at a time where, you know, we're, we're celebrating the holidays? Yeah, it's just a wonderful blessing to be able to help out in the community. And we have such a great community that are so giving and it's just so neat to see people bring in food and help the people who need it the most. So we're, we're very happy to be able to do this. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and present this check to the Douglas County Food Closet. If you, uh, Mike and Donna, want to take that check, how does it feel? To, yeah, you'll take it. How, how does it feel to be able to, you know, receive this check, and how important is it to get this money? It's all we do for money. The community supports us. Uh, this is our biggest food drive of the year, and it's thank you for Channel 2, thank you for CVI, thanks for Sir Toma, thanks for everyone who contributes. And we actually have a new tradition that we're starting. The next person who brings a check that's going to be around $3,000, we're going to have Adam Varahachikal sing a little Christmas carol. So the next person to bring that big donation in, he is going to sing. We'll take your requests on what song you want him to sing. But first, we're going to take a quick break. But remember, next person to bring that $3,000 check, you're going to get Adam to sing for you. Send it to break right now.